Hi, this is Kevin Carr from Robodium Tech. In this tutorial, I'm going to be demoing how to use the Robodium Recorder, which is a test automation tool for Android applications. To use the Robodium Recorder, go to the Installation tab on Robodium.com and follow the video tutorial or the step-by-step -step instructions. After you've installed Robodium Recorder, in order to use it, you must start Eclipse, wait for the workspace dialog to appear, and click OK. Before the recording can begin, we need to connect a physical device or start an emulator. In our case, we're going to start the emulator we created in our previous tutorial. After clicking Start, then Launch, dismiss this window, wait for the emulator to start up. After the emulator has started up, we're going to unlock it. Then, we're going to start the Robotium Recorder by going to File, New, Other, New Robotium Test, click Next. In this box, you will see your workspace projects. As our workspace is empty, we will be recording a test from an APK. Robotium Recorder will re-sign the APK with your debug key. We're going to keep the test project name that Robotium Recorder has suggested and click Next. Now we start recording our test case. The APK will be installed and the recording will get started. The Robotium Recorder automatically detects all activities that are started. As you can see in the box, While we navigate through our app, Robotium Recorder will record all steps that we are taking. As you can see. We click on approximately. We click on listen. Now here, we're going to use our unique feature, Click to Assert, to verify that this label is shown. We click on OK. Then we use Click to Assert again to verify that the label and the icon is shown. Then we click OK again. Once again, we use Click to Assert to verify that the label on top is showing. Then we click the action bar item, erase all, click OK, now we are going to use Click to Assert one final time to verify that the label on the bottom is showing. Now we stop the recording. Robotium Recorder allows you to delete recorded steps by clicking the Delete Step button. It also allows you to add Take Screenshot Steps at any place by clicking the Take the Screenshot button. At the bottom left hand corner we have a Settings menu where you can choose to use Sleeps where the test cases will be saved at the same pace in which it was recorded. There is also an option to keep app data between new recordings. And finally, an option to identify class over string in the event that a resource ID is missing. In this case, we're not going to use sleeps. Click on Save. 
we give it a name save observation test click OK finish click on package explorer we will see our test project with a recorded test case in it now we can run our test case by right clicking it and selecting run as Android J unit test we can also run the whole test project by right clicking and selecting run as Android J unit test now if we want to record more test cases we can right click on our test project then click Robotium recorder select new Robotium test remember you can record as many test cases as you like simply by repeating the process of clicking new Robotium test then save thank you for using Robotium recorder we hope you enjoy it.